to my channel and if you are new welcome I'm your girl Julissa Chavez and in today's video I will be bringing you all the spooky season which vibes you need I personally don't like Halloween but my birthday is the day after Halloween and I want to bring you a lot more Halloween looks and this is one of them so I really hope that you like this look if you're interested, keep on watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for more videos and hit that big red subscribe button for me if you're not subscribed. Alrighty, so first things first, we are going to work on our brows. I did some organizing and like rearranging over here and I still feel so disorganized. So what I like to do is just go in with a little bit of pressed powder and I like to brush that in the brows before I start applying product. If you have an oily brow problem and your product doesn't stay all day or it likes to slide around and your eyebrows be bleeding, get you some powder <laughs> and set them first. And now we're just gonna fill our brows in. Cannot believe my birthday is in less than 30 days. Like, what? I know people don't really celebrate their birthdays a lot and I feel like you should because Seriously, people aren't making it, you know, to their next birthday. And that's why it should be a celebration. And it's like, it's not just another day. It's really another day that you're here on earth. It's like a huge blessing and you should definitely celebrate it in every way. So that's why birthdays are important to me. I'm gonna try to use makeup that I don't use often in today's tutorial. I have so much makeup that I never freaking use. I'm going to clean my brows up with the Juvia's Place Concealer in number 10. The applicator on this concealer is honestly my favorite part of this concealer. It's so big and nice. <sighs> I always forget to wet my beauty blender. Every time, like every time. There's nothing more annoying than sitting down getting ready to do your makeup and noticing <laughs> that your beauty blender is still dry. After I blend that concealer out, I'm going to go back and set it. So first I'm gonna go on with this Charmed Matte Lipstick by Collab. And I'm going to apply this in the crease of my eye. Let's go in with a blending brush and blend that out. We're gonna go with our Level Up Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette by Erica G. I'm gonna go with that orange shade in this palette. I'm gonna pop it right on top of that collab lipstick. And I wanna really build this shade up. Look at that pigment, so good. I love using lipstick as a base. It's a really nice way to make your colors pop. Now I'm just taking that shadow and blending it up in the brow, right under the front of the brow. I'm just taking it up and blending it towards the nose. All right, then I want to go with another blending brush and just smoke out the edges. I want it to be very diffused and blown out. So for the black shadow, you can go in with a liner or whatever type of black base you want to use. I'm going to use a black matte lipstick out of my lipstick pot. I believe this is the Ruby Kisses matte black lipstick. I'm going to take my NYX brush number 13 and I'm just going to start dabbing that lipstick in the center of the eye and you don't want to take it up too far and black can get out of control so it's best to like start from the lower lid and then work your way up as far as you want to go okay and we're staying in that same palette i'm going to go in with the jet black shade in this palette and you're just going to press that black shuttle right on top of the lipstick and i like to pack it on and then you want to go with a smaller blending brush and you want to go back in with that orange shade. So I'm going to go with the NYX Loose Glitter and this is in the shade Beauty Beam. Now you want to give the glitter something to adhere to. You can go back in with the liner or the lipstick or a glitter glue, whatever you want to use. But I'm going to use the Collab Glitter and Go Liquid Eyeshadow. And you could even leave it there because it has glitter in it, but I want this eye to be extra. And after we make a glitter mess, we're gonna go with our liquid eyeliner. I'm using the e.l.f. liquid liner. So I'm actually gonna let that liner fade into the black shadow. And then I'm just gonna like diffuse it out. All right, I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I like to do that off camera. I just feel like it's a little pointless. Um, and then I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, we're pretty much done with the top of the eye. We're gonna move on to foundation now. I'm gonna go ahead and color correct with that Dubious Place concealer right under the eye. I'm just gonna blend that out after I give it time to settle and dry a little bit. Alrighty, for foundation, I'm gonna go with the Iman Cosmetics foundation in the shade Clay 4. This foundation is very, very thick, but it's also very, very full coverage. So a little of this foundation goes a long way. This brand is also black owned, so make sure you shop black. Look at how flawless that looks, y'all. Woo, that foundation is no joke. For highlighting, I'm gonna go with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in this shade Medium 90. W and you don't have to let this concealer sit too long it does dry kind of quickly so you want to start blending this one in right away Ooh, ee, that looks so good so what I'm gonna do now is go back in with that blending brush and I'm just going to blend up the edges to set our face, we're gonna go with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in 25 Medium. I'm making sure I really get under that eye. After I set, I'm gonna go with a nice fluffy brush to set the rest of my face. And to bring color back into the face, we're going to go into our Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie Bronzer. And I love to push this in the hollows of the cheeks. For blush and contour, we're gonna go with the Morphe Blush Trio Palette, and this is the Pop of Poppy. And then we're going to use Provocative for our blush. And we're going to use Risky to also contour our nose. And we're going to highlight with the It's My Ray Ray Beach Cosmetics Palette. This is my favorite highlighter ever. I like to go with a little bit of French Toast and just a dab of Radiant. And it just brings my whole life together. Like, <laughs> this highlight is the bomb. It's, it's my favorite highlighter. Can't get enough. Look at how porcelain my skin looks, y'all. Get into the skin. Get into the skin, okay? First, I'm gonna go with that orange shade that we use on the lid. But to really make it pop, I'm gonna go with the LA Colors Auto Liner, and I'm going to apply that on top. And look at that drama, y'all. Look at that drama. And if you're gonna be doing a black lip, it is very important to line them. We're using that same black lipstick that we used on the eyes. Woo, I haven't done black lipstick in a long time. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that black is scary. Okay, it'll be only right to top off this lip with a gloss. Okay, and lastly, we're going to set our face. So even though it really covers the eyes, like I still like the look. I mean, this is definitely giving me witch vibes or something. What you guys think? Isn't this pretty? Alrighty, you guys, this is the finished look. What, what, what? Your girl is bringing you all the witch vibes that you need. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for all my October fall and spooky season looks. Turn your post notifications on so that you get notified and won't get behind on my videos. And you know the drill, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.